Hi guys, so this is a breakdown about the Indiana at Bloomington supplement. So before we get into how to write that University of Indiana supplement, let's talk some stats. The IU acceptance rate is 80%. However, the IU acceptance rate for the Kelly School of Business is about 38, so it's a lot more competitive. The median GPA for fall 2021, which is the last stats that we have available, is 391. The median SAT is about 13 to 1390, and the median ACT is between 28 and 32. You definitely want to focus on this essay. You definitely want to kind of showcase as much as possible with regards to your strengths as a candidate. Thank you for watching. Hi, hi, hi. I am Dr. Josie. This is Write Your Acceptance. Thanks for stopping by. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of students applying to college and beyond in their academic careers. And my focus and expertise is how to help you really shine with your essays. So let's get started with Indiana. So the prompt is describe your academic and career plans and any special interests. For example, undergraduate research, academic interests, leadership opportunities, etc. that you are eager to pursue as an undergraduate at Indiana University. Also, if you encountered any unusual circumstances, challenges, or obstacles in pursuit of your education, share those experiences and how you overcame them. So this essay is 200 to 400 words, and it is like a buffet table. It is a little bit of everything. They want to know academic interests. They want to know career plans. They want to know if you have any special kind of outstanding or challenging circumstances that would be kind of a quote unquote red flag in your application, right? So any kind of challenging circumstances that would have hindered your optimal performance in high school, let's say. At 200 to 400 for the most part, if you are answering all of these kind of buckets for the IU supplement, you tend to go closer to 400, in my opinion, than 200. So let's kind of break down how you would write this essay. So since it is really the only IU supplement and it's a little bit of everything, like I say, buffet table, it's a little bit about them, so why us? a little bit about you academically, and then a little bit about special circumstances if you choose to, uh, to do that. Don't feel obligated to identify everything or to address everything rather in the supplement. They're really just kind of giving you, for lack of a better phrase, a catch-all type supplement. But even though it is a catch-all supplement or a kind of very, very kind of open-ended, you definitely want to give yourself guardrails and give yourself parameters so it, it sounds like a very structured and very intentional essay. So first you're going to address the academic and career plans. Let's say you have an interest in public policy or you have an interest in healthcare. In this academic and career plan section of the essay, and maybe you focus the entire essay on just this section because everything else is kind of a moot point. You didn't really have any red flags or kind of challenging circumstances that you wanted to share in the essay so you don't even do that at all. So let's say you want to do healthcare or you're interested in, in medicine. You start with an anecdote about your volunteering in the pediatric wing in your local hospital. And then you kind of go into a little bit of why us. So then you would kind of go into pursuing a degree in at Indiana University would be of interest because, and then you kind of make a case as to why you would want to study there. And then you kind of would go in a little bit about what courses, research opportunities, student organizations. So what resources and opportunities within the classroom and beyond the classroom are of interest. So a little bit about why them with kind of your goals academically as a student. What do you want to learn? How do you want to build a network of like-minded students? How do you want to kind of help build and serve the community at Indiana at Bloomington while also gaining the valuable education that you aspire to gain? And then what are those career plans? How do you want to leverage that education to your future? What does that look like? They're not going to hold you to anything specifically. What they want to see is that you are being intentional with the kind of path that you are laying out for yourself or that you are making a case for. So remember, you are looking for courses, maybe a student organization, a community service, research opportunity. You're looking for these kind of why us elements and you're kind of weaving that into academic and career aspirations. Another example, if you're applying to the Kelly School of Business, maybe you start the essay with a mini story about kind of your um, pre-college program, if you did a business program, or your entrepreneurship, your small business in high school that you kind of started from your bedroom, 
or how you buy bread on Tuesdays. This is super random because I've seen it and it worked amazingly. How you buy bread on Tuesdays from a competing grocery store because you realize that that's when they mark down prices in that store. And so then you would kind of link that to how you aspire to look at supply chain kind of market demand principles at IU. And so kind of start with an anecdote that shares something creatively that connects academically or career wise for you and then kind of connect that to what you would start to study at Indiana. So next step is assessing if you do have any extenuating circumstances that you want to share in your essay. If you do, I would kind of make that its own paragraph, like its own section. Don't feel like I'm a big proponent of transitional topic sentences. So making sure that your one paragraph flows into the next paragraph flows into the next. So it sounds like a cohesive and complete thought versus like disparate short answers. However, it's been my experience working with students on this essay many years now, they've had the supplement a while, that this essay in particular, this supplement in particular, it's very challenging to do so. So you wanna think about just figuring out what you wanna say first. If you do have extenuating circumstances, think about one, are they gonna get this information somewhere else? You don't wanna kind of hit them over the head with too much information about the same thing. Two, what is your relationship to this difficulty? Is it an obstacle that you've overcome? Then maybe you're spinning it, then I would say you're spinning it to a positive space because you've gained wisdom and distance from this experience or this obstacle. And that's how you're ending on a very positive and, and moment of strength. So think about your relationship to this extenuating circumstance. If it is an ongoing issue, how are you managing it? How are you successfully man managing it as a student? Because um, remember, ultimately you are applying to become part of their community. And so what you're saying is that you are not only academically fit to, to be part of their intellectual community, but that you are ready to um, leave home and go study and be on your own and be independent. And so when you are sharing extenuating circumstances, of course, share your truth, be honest, but also make sure that how you are sharing it is coming from a space of wisdom and growth and self-reflection. So notice I haven't really shared any specific circumstances because all of this tends to be unique to students. If you have a specific kind of challenging circumstance, extenuating circumstance that you are thinking of sharing but I'm not sure and you want kind of some guidance, comment below. I'm happy to kind of talk through how I would share any details or specifics to your case individually. So beyond this one essay, IU has a great, extensive, amazing, very, very generous scholarships page so I know not everyone will apply to scholarships, although I am a strong proponent that you should. And they have, so, I mean, one of my favorite university um, scholarship pages ever. So I wanted to share that with you guys here because they do have a number of scholarships with a number of deadlines and you should kind of check them out in case there are a few or a couple or one that may be interesting to you and could be kind of, you know, helping you offset um, cost if you do decide to attend um, Indiana. So, this is an extensive scholarship webpage. You can filter by state, uh, so in-state and out-of-state opportunities. And so many um, students have recycled parts of their other essays to these scholarships when, when I'm working with students individually that I know that it lends itself to a user-friendly experience most of the time or sometimes. So quick caveat, the selective deadline is November 1st. By the time my um, students that are applying to regular decisions see this video, you're going to be past that deadline. So this would be for next cycle students for that specific deadline. But there are others there that would work for you too. That selective scholarship essay prompt reads, please research and write an original essay on a topic that reflects your own intellectual interests and impacts the community around you. This essay should demonstrate your analytical writing abilities. Your topic should be supported with persuasive and concrete evidence, and you should cite all resources. We have provided a few suggestions. It is about 600 to 1,000 words. I've had students write about a research project that they were doing in their kind of AP research courses. I've had students write about a kind of a service learning project that they did in a local pediatric hospital. One of my students did their research for a course on food insecurity and food deserts, and then they built, they used part of that research and writing that they had and built out this essay specifically, make basically kind of using the research they had already done and building out 
what they wanted to do with that research and knowledge now and how they were going to impact their community. And so you don't have to start from scratch. You are already working very, very busy bees. So you want to think about what you have already done, whether it's for another supplement, for another school, or for a research project for a class, and think about kind of how you can adapt and build upon kind of ideas and work you've are scholarship you already have for yourself. There may be, sometimes they sneak in the activities um, essay. So I do have a couple of videos and I'll link them above on how to write the activities essay. And you want to think about, in a way, it's similar to the community essay from Michigan, which I released a video just prior to this one, updated version on that one. So you may want to check that one out, but I have a couple of other activities ones as well, so that you can share kind of your role in the activity, how you impact others, how you make a difference and kind of lessons learned. I hope this was helpful. And if you are applying to Indiana and you want kind of feedback from me, comment below. I am still taking a couple of students. So if you want to kind of learn more about how I work with students, comment below and I can share my contact information, email, and we go from there. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.